It's important to note when you create files inside of Microsoft Class Teams or you upload files to your Class Team from your OneDrive or from your device or even pull in files from other teams, these files are meant to be collaborative. In other words, your students have the ability to co-edit these files. Now, Microsoft Class Teams knows that teachers will want to share important files that they don't want students to be able to edit. That's why they've created the Class Materials folder. To get started uploading important materials to the Class Materials folder, you're going to start in the General Channel. Now, if you're just getting started with your class team, you will see a shortcut to upload class materials here in the stream of the Post tab. If you've been using your general channel for announcements and important posts, you might not be able to find this button. To access the class materials folder, simply click on the Files tab. Again, that's inside the general channel, and you will see that read-only class materials folder. Now, if you've already uploaded files that you realize, oh, I actually want them to live inside that read-only class materials folder so that my students can't edit them, select the file and come up to your menu bar. If you don't see Move, simply click on the three dots or the Timbits for the More Options menu and select Move. Notice that you can now select that class materials folder inside the general channel and you can click Move to move that file inside the Class Materials folder. Now if we open the Class Materials folder, notice that you can create new files and new folders to further organize this folder. You can also upload files or entire folders to this particular folder. Just remember that any resources that you post inside the Class Materials folder in the general channel will be read only. Students will not be able to edit these files.